Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making Cuban sandwich puffs. If you love Cuban sandwiches, then you'll love these. So let's get started. You're going to need some puff pastry. You may use homemade or store bought, and you should be able to get nine little squares out of one sheet. Make sure it's really cold. So what I normally do is I keep the puff pastry in the freezer, take it out about 40 minutes before I use it, and it should be perfectly thawed by then. So here I am cutting the squares into nine little pieces. And then we are going to get started. You can use aluminum foil or parchment paper to line your baking sheet. Now, if you've ever had a Cuban sandwich, you know that it's usually prepared with yellow mustard. I think yellow mustard isn't that great. It sucks. I'm not a fan. I prefer honey mustard, Dijon mustard, or spicy mustard, but you may use whatever you have on hand, whatever you prefer. All right, so my pickles were a bit thick. If you want really thin pickles, you may slice your own using a mandolin, and that would be great. So a Cuban sandwich contains mustard, ham, Swiss, and roasted pork. If you don't eat pork, you may substitute the pork with turkey, sliced turkey, and roasted turkey. I omitted the roasted pork in this recipe because I felt like it would be too much meat for a pastry appetizer. All right. Cuban roasted pork can take about two days to prepare, so that's truly why. If you have it, yum, go ahead and throw it on there. I just used some Virginia ham, thinly sliced. I don't care if the person at the deli counter rolls their eyes at you. Demand that they slice the ham as thin as possible, politely with a smile, of course. I couldn't find my pastry brush, so I just used my hands to brush the egg wash onto the pastry. It's just one beaten egg with a splash of water, and then I just pinched the corners together. So all I added was honey mustard, my preference, pickles, Virginia, thinly sliced ham, and Havarti cheese, it's my favorite. I know the authentic community is going to be a bit disappointed that I didn't use Swiss, nor classic yellow mustard, or roasted pork, but then again, these are Cuban sandwich puffs. Nothing authentic about this recipe. Make sure to brush the egg wash all over the puff pastry, and then we're going to place these in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 18 minutes. These were super flaky and delicious. Perfect for a get together. You definitely don't need a recipe for this. I'll post it down below just in case. Definitely make this. They were so good. Let me know if you do, and I want to thank you all so much for watching.